Test takers diagnosed with COVID will not be separated from other examinees during the Sunung exam next week, according to the Ministry of Education, but they will be advised to wear a mask at all times. 교육부는 다음 주에 치러질 수학 능력 시험에서 코로나19 확진자도 일반 수험생과 같은 시험실에서 응시하게 된다고 안내하면서 확진자는 마스크를 상시 착용할 것을 권고했습니다. Well, during COVID, they had to be separated yeah. and they took the test in different test rooms. But uh, this year, for the first time in, um, I believe, one Three or years. two, yeah, a couple of years yeah. actually, yeah, they will all be able to take the test in the same. They're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. they're going to yeah. have to, right? Yeah. So it doesn't matter if you have symptoms. Um, They'll be advised to wear masks. Right. Um, and also, test takers will not be allowed to take exams in hospitals anymore. Right. So right. It's, it's basically back to the way it was. Mm-hmm. Um, they're expecting uh, just over 650 more test takers this year compared to last year. Okay. Um, the education office, they're going to have uh, nearly 5,000 examination rooms across 230 schools. Sure. And during lunchtime... Um, the, the test takers with COVID, they will actually have to have lunch in a different area. Mm. However, when the actual test taking yep. happens, they'll all be together. But as we said here, they've been advised to, you know, have Put their on masks. masks on. Right. Yeah, exactly. 그래요. 점심 식사할 때는 별도의 공간에서 식사를 하지만 이제 시험 자체는 다 같은 교실에서 정말 오랜만에 이제 어, 모두가 같이 이제 따로 이렇게 코로나 확진자들의 시험실이 따로 있지 않는 그런 수능이 되겠네요. And it's next week, isn't it? Yeah, Thursday, I think it <웃음> is, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. A week today. 음, 아이고, 어, 정말 fingers crossed, good luck입니다. Let's have a look at the main terms. The first one is to be diagnosed with something. So it's an illness, an illness or a disease, and it's when a doctor... Determines that you have that illness after mm. conducting a, an examination or taking tests. Mm. Usually, it involves taking tests to right. really confirm that someone has something. Yes, yeah. has, has the disease they're looking for. Right. In this case, COVID. Mm-hmm. Diagnosis is 진단이고요. Be diagnosed with something and 무언가로 진단을 받는다. 이 경우에는 코로나 판정을 받는다라는 뜻이 됩니다. 자, 그렇게 코로나 확진이 되더라도 같은 장소에서 시험을 볼 수가 있고요. 그 다음 표현은 to be advised to do something. You can see the word advise, you can see advice yeah. sort of in there. Yeah. So that's what it means if you're advised mm-hmm. or if you're an advisor, right? Many people have that job. Mm-hmm. Their job is giving advice yes. to someone else. You don't always have to follow it, mm-hmm. but it's probably a good idea according mm. to the person who is advising. Mm. 이게 이제 권고한다라는 의미가 되겠죠. Be advised to wear masks. 마스크 착용을 권고받고 있는 상황이다. 자, 그러면은 우리 예문을 한번 볼까요? What's your example sentence? Uh, players could be advised to wear additional equipment soon. Mm. That actually might. I took this sentence because there's a big sort of kind of controversy happening right now in sports. I don't know if you know this, but a professional hockey player died in England. Mm. There's a there is a professional hockey league in England. I've been to a game. It's that. not very good, but like <laughs> it's like it's for lower end players, sure, right? Sure. But it's still a professional hockey league. Um, and a Canadian player who I, mean, I can't remember. I don't know if he's American or Canadian. I mm. forget. He'd 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 played professional hockey in the U.S. and he went to play in England and he actually died because a, a skate cut his neck. So when I was a kid, we had to wear neck guards, mm-hmm. but they don't, they don't, you, you don't have to wear it in professional hockey. Right. So now they're starting to say, and now mm. some teams are right. actually just starting to do it. It could even be mandated. It then. could right. be mandated. Right. Like, to be honest, it probably should. should I, be, in yeah. the 90s, yeah. I went to a hockey tournament in, in America mm. and they didn't have to wear neck guards. But in mm. Canada, or at least where I lived, we had to all through growing up and mm. it, it doesn't it doesn't affect anything doesn't affect your breathing and why not it's, i wonder exactly yeah. it's just one of those things that probably like mm. you know i would advise anybody playing sure. put on a neck guard they're yeah. not even expensive 네, 목 보호대를 착용할 것을 권고할 때 um, you are advised to wear a neck guard 근데 만약에 
반드시 착용해라 라는 말을 하고 싶으면 은더 나아가서 You are mandated to wear a neck guard. That means you must do it. Right. When I was a kid, hockey mm. players didn't even have to wear helmets. It was just really? advised. Oh. Some old guys didn't. And then and now? Be, no, now they, they have, have to, to wear oh, helmets. And then okay. recently, now they have to wear visors. Right. But they didn't even have to wear those for a long time. That wasn't... It was mm. obviously... Some people might yeah. advise it, but it was not mandatory. Yeah. Would you, is is um, hockey considered a contact sport? Yeah, of course. Because you, yeah. No, you hit each other. You hit each C- other. Contact yeah. means body contact. Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. hockey, mm. football, American football, rugby, these are all contact sports. <sighs> 이렇게 어, 몸과 몸이 접촉이 되는 스포츠를 contact 스포츠라고 해요. Contact가 여기서는 접촉이라는 뜻인데 하키도 그런 예죠. 그래서 정말 위험할 수가 있기 때문에 여러 가지 보호 해주는 그런 장치들이나 장비를 착용을 해야 되고요. 대부분은 advised, 권고가 되지만 또 때로는 mandated, 반드시 착용해라 이런 경우도 있네요. In minor hockey and women's hockey, there's no contact. Ah, interesting. 다시 한번 읽어보겠습니다. Test takers diagnosed with COVID will not be separated from other examinees during the Sunung exam next week, according to the Ministry of Education, but they will be advised to wear a mask at all times. 